Hey y'all, I am Lucid Faith, and today I want to talk about hunts in Final Fantasy XIV. Now, hunts are daily and weekly missions that tell you to go kill a certain number of monsters. Basically, they're a quest version of your hunting log. Now, let's break down how to unlock them, how they work, and what you can get out of doing them. Let's jump in. Now, how do you unlock hunts? Well, first requirement, you have to be level 50 in your Disciple of War or Disciple of Magic class. That means you'll have to be at the end of the base game of A Realm Reborn. In addition to that, you'll need to be second lieutenant in your Grand Company. So to do that, rank up your Grand Company. If you need help on that, check out the link in the description for my video on the matter or the card in the corner. Now, once you have those done, you'll need to do the quest, Let the Hunt Begin. Details for this quest are in the description as well. Take note that depending on which grand company, you'll have to talk to a slightly different person, so make sure to choose yours. Now, once you do this, you have the access to the base hunt system, right? There are four different hunts that on each basically phase of the game. There's the hunt, which is for a realm reborn. There are clan hunts for Heaven Sword. There is veteran clan hunts for Stormbringers and nasty clan hunts for Shadowbringers, each offering different rewards, different areas to hunt monsters in, and different targets. Links to all of those quests to get all of those started is in the description below but know that each one requires the previous to be completed. So if you want to jump into Shadowbringer hunts, you have to have already unlocked the other three. Now, no matter which type of hunt you'll be doing, they all work the same way. First off, you're going to accept a hunt from a hunt board or a clan hunt board. These will be where you usually start the quests. So. Go to your clan board, you can select it, and you'll see two different postings. One for daily and one for weekly. In addition, there might be some additional dropdowns for multiple daily missions or multiple weekly missions. Go through, select all of the hunts you want to take. You'll basically take them in stacks. So if you want to take the daily one, you'll get entire you'll get a stack of five targets to hunt down. So go ahead, you accept them, you'll get a key item to view your hunts while you're out and about, open up your inventory, go to your key item tab, drag that item to your hotbar. That way it's easily accessible to know what you've completed and what you have left. Now, something that's really nifty is on the screen where you see your hunts in that little menu, it does show the location of generally where they are. So you can kind of know where you need to go to find each of your targets. Now, once you've accepted your hunt targets, how do you know you found them? Well, normally they're just monsters in the overworld you go find. Now, similar to your hunting log, they will have icons above the heads of the monsters. In this case, there'll be small red icon. Look for that and you know you're in the right spot and you're hunting the correct monster. You'll also get a feedback down in your chat message as well as saying how many you've killed, how many remain, yada yada yada, right? Now, special note, some monsters for hunting targets can be fate bosses, which means you'll need to get the fate you need to actually spawn. For me, I ran around and did fates in the area where the one I needed would spawn until it did, and then I went and killed the target. So when you're looking for stuff like that, Google's your friend. Now, when doing some research on this and figuring it out, I found a really cool site, ffxivhuntpaths.com. Link is in the description below. It's a really cool site where you choose the expansion you're hunting in because again each hunt is slightly different on what areas it can provide and targets for you so you choose the area or the expansion you're hunting in then you go through and select the monsters that your hunt gave you once you've selected all of them you can hit a button to have it map out where every monster is going to be and the most efficient 
way to get to each monster. It's amazing. It makes tracking down and actually doing the hunts so much easier. Highly recommend. Um, the only thing is that the table does assume you have flying unlocked. So the A Realm Reborn section is kind of like in beta. They're working on it, but when flying is eventually added to A Realm Reborn, which will hopefully be in 5.3 at the time of this video recording, it should also work perfectly. Use this, it's amazing. Now that you know how to do hunts, what do we get out of it? Well, we get a couple different kinds of currency. First off, we get allied seals from the base hunts. We get centurion seals from the clan hunts. That's gonna be Stormbringers and Heaven's Ward. And then we get sacks of nuts from Shadowbringers. There's gonna be links in the description below on each currency and the NPC you need to talk to to actually turn in the seals for the rewards. Special note on the Centurion seals, because those seals cover two different expansions, it does matter which NPC you talk to to actually turn your seals in for the rewards. For example, for Heaven's Ward rewards, you're going to be going to the Forgotten Inn in Ishgard and talking to the NPCs there, while in Stormblood, you're going to be talking to Yolaine. Link in the description again for exactly who to talk to and the possible rewards you can get from this. But in general, what do you get? Well, from the seals and turning them in, the main things that interested me were the glamours and the minions. But just for those themselves, I wouldn't really say it's worth it. And the bigger reason and purpose of hunts is for experience and a little bit of gill. The reason I say that is because DPS queues in this game are rather long and you need something to fill your time while waiting for a dungeon or your roulette or whatever, right? Well, you can fill that time in a number of ways, doing fates, leave quests, other stuff. Well, hunts is something else you can do for some experience and add a little bit of a variety to your life. All right, y'all, that was my overview on the hunt system in Final Fantasy XIV. Again, I'm Lucid Faith. If you enjoyed, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to talk more about this or anything related to Final Fantasy XIV or otherwise, I stream over at Twitch, over at twitch.tv forward slash Lucid Faith. Link in the description below. But y'all, last but not least, always remember that you matter. I'll see you in the next one.